All right, we're going to go ahead and set up our fire stick first and uh, take note of a few numbers on here. So go to settings, navigate over to my fire TV and go ahead and go to about network. Now go ahead and jot down that IP address because you're going to need that in a moment. Now go back, developer options. Oh, look at that ADB. That's what we're using. So you're going to want to turn on ADB debugging apps from unknown sources. Also turn this on and keep in mind, you should be in a line of sight with this when you set this up, because it's going to ask if you'd like the home assistant to be able to access it. So keep this up. All right. So this may be one of the simplest tutorials I've dropped yet, but I do not see a lot of literature on this. Um, I'm going to get into some advanced stuff in the future. The remote I used, used some scripting, used uh, some more advanced commands from the uh, Android TV. But we're just going to get the basic stuff of our fire stick work and you're going to get up, down, left, right, enter, back, home, all that stuff. So first things first, open up your home assistant setup, open up your supervisor and go to the add on store. Once you've done that, Go to your ADB, Android Debug Bridge. Funnily enough, what we just set up on our Fire Stick. Once you've installed it, go to Configuration. Under Devices, drop that IP that we just jotted down from the Fire Stick. Go ahead and save all that. And we're going to go straight to the file editor. Let's go to our config. And you're going to want to add a media player. This is very sensitive. So if you're not used to dropping code, let me just tell you how it is. Media underscore player, semicolon, or whatever that is, colon. Enter, enter again, two spaces, dash, space, platform, colon, space, Android TV. On the next line, four spaces, host, colon, space, the aforementioned IP. Next line, four spaces, name, colon, and whatever you would like to call this particular instance. Uh, mine's a fire stick, so I'm calling it fire stick. On the next line, four spaces, ADB, underscore, server, underscore, IP, colon, and we're just going to do a little loopback address here because we are local. 127.0.0.1. Simple. And go ahead and save that. Go ahead and go to your server controls and restart. Once that's all said and done, let's go ahead and do a simple command. You can find these simple integrations on the uh, Home Assistant site in the future. And the not so distant future, I'm going to drop a uh, video showing some advanced commands and we're going to set up actual remotes with buttons because now that we've got the infrared and we've got the Android stick under control, uh, we need to give it an interface. So I'm going to show you guys that on the next video. Now uh, you got a peek here if you're, you know, a little bit sneaky and crazy. But for now, um, go to your scripts.yaml. Should already exist. And nothing might be in here, but it should already exist. And we'll just do home. Firestick underscore home, colon, two spaces, sequence, colon, two spaces, dash, space, service, colon, space, Android TV dot ADB underscore command. Four spaces, data, colon, four spaces, and then two more spaces, entity underscore ID, media underscore player dot the name of your Android TV instance. Next line, also four spaces, two spaces, command, and we're just going to do home. Uh, like I said, I'm going to drop a link to the home assistant integrations page, and it will show you all of these commands. The um, 
commands to run apps are a little bit more advanced, but I got you guys in the next video. Now, if you want to run these, like I said, I've got a, you know, it's a decent setup. It's not a great setup. It's a decent setup for now. Go ahead and make a new, make a new page. I'm gonna call it F stick because fire sticks already taken. And you can just add a button and on this button call service. And you, you actually should restart before this because it may not have updated your uh, list here, but you're going to get your script fire stick underscore home and go ahead and just get rid of that and give it fire home. And once, once you press this, it's going to bring you to the home page on your fire stick. The possibilities here are not endless, but they're pretty close to endless. And if you want to get crazy with it, you can end up with something like this. Stay tuned. Hope this helped because it took me a long time to find these Android integrations. Once again, I appreciate you guys and please stay tuned for more.